so whenever you create a report okay whenever you try to create a report the first thing that comes into picture is the report type okay what is the type of report and that you have to create okay the report that you want to which which type of report that you want to create okay so if you go and click on new report okay so here it is asking us to select one report type so these are some of the standard report types which are already created for us okay what report types are report types are actually if you if there are uh, objects which are in a relationship okay either lookup relationship or if in a master relationship okay master okay. detail relationship if you want the related objects or the related records as well the fields of the related records as well to be included in the report okay, okay. so those things are controlled by the report types okay okay so if you go to let's say any of the predefined reports let's if you go to opportunities here so if you see opportunities there is just uh, our report type which is only for opportunities in this you will not be able to see any of the other uh, objects which opportunity is related to <coughs> okay okay so which is always like the if you choose opportunity here then it you can relate this particular report to its child's or its children's children okay, okay. like products contact roles partners orders so all those reports all those all, all those uh, objects are child of opportunities okay if you go to mm -hmm. accounts and contacts so here you will see whichever is related to accounts okay, okay. Okay, so these are the reports which is already provided to you. So if in case if you don't see the report or if you don't see the object relationship which you actually want or if you uh, if when you create the report if you don't see the fields that uh, you want in the report that means you have to create a new report type. Okay. Okay, and these are the standard report types which are already provided to you with relationships which includes the child object and which might not include the child objects. Okay. Okay, so if you want to create any new report type with relationships that you have defined, then you need to create a new report type. Okay. Okay, so in report type, generally what you do is you restrict the objects which should be available in the report and the fields which should be available in the report. Okay. 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 Now, first thing what you will do is you will go ahead and choose any of the report types and you click on create. So if you choose accounts and if you go and create, you will see the fields which is only in the accounts. Okay. Uh -huh. <coughs> Here the fields that you see is the only the account fields. Okay. okay. The fields are from the relation related uh, list, which is account is also related to opportunity and contacts. So those things you will not be able to see here. Okay. okay what if you want to include those fields as of now custom reports have uh, sorry standard report it's already provided to you okay which is connected to accounts and opportunities but <clears throat> let's say if you have any your own custom relationship okay and if you want to include your child objects in the report as well then what in that case what you will do in that case we will have to create report types okay okay so how do we create report type so you just go to setup and here in the create section you should have a report type okay here in <clears throat> here you can either uh, choose from here or if you don't remember you can just type report types here okay report type okay. oops and you can click on this okay from here you can create some custom report types okay, okay. so there's a little uh, brief description of the report type given here so what is a custom report type the report type allows you to build a framework in the report wizard it will just give build a template for you <clears throat> okay the template will have what all fields are in, in should be included what all uh, objects should be included in the relationship okay so you can build one custom report type of of the relationship either it, it could be a master detail relationship or it could be a lookup relationship okay so you can choose which object to display to the users 
and uh, they find the relationship between the object like what relationship you want either you want um, opportunity to orders or opportunity to contracts so those kind of relationship you can establish here okay and you can also select the objects field that should be included in the columns okay and that uh, hierarchy of one parent to child to child to child that can go only up to four levels okay okay if you see here a b and c so a is the parent okay so under a you can choose one another ch another child of a so let's say b is a child okay so under b uh, b all uh, is a parent of let's say c object so you choose c so under c c is object uh, c is parent of another object so you can choose d here but after d you cannot choose anything so that is like the maximum you can include four only okay okay so if you see the set here okay in this set here it's in including uh, it could be including either a or all the whatever is common in a b and c so here they are uh, including only those which are common in a b and c okay okay so how to create this we will see okay so as of now let's continue okay uh, till now just uh, keep in mind that if you want to choose some relationship some more related records or related objects which are connected to your object so if you want to include those uh, records and fields you have to create a new custom report type yeah. if it's not available in the report type which is already provided to you okay 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 so how do you create a new re report type so you just go to set up and create report type and you can click on a uh, new custom report type okay so here we have to choose the primary object okay so let me get back here and show you so here it's asking us to choose a okay which is the parent which should be the primary object okay and then you can go down the hierarchy like it's child and then the child's child like that Okay. okay so first of all in the step one we have to choose the custom report type we have to define the custom report type and here we have to specify what type of records or rows will be the focus of the report generated by this report type okay for example it has given like contacts with opportunities with partners okay like that so op partners parent is opportunities opportunities parent is contacts okay okay I think I've shown you this uh, in the schema builder as well, the relationship. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. So like that. So first of all, we have to choose a primary object. So here, let's try to choose. Okay, let's see opportunities. Okay, let's just. Uh, we choose opportunities. Okay, so if you choose opportunities, how do you know which are the related records or related object to opportunities? So if you just go to opportunities here, okay, if you open any of the record in the opportunity, <coughs> you will see the related list. Okay, at the bottom, you will see the related okay. list. So these are children of opportunity. Okay. okay orders are there products are there so most of them will not be included in the related list so if you go and edit the page layout from the page layout you can also control the related list what all related list you want to include in the page layout okay so if we go to related list here okay see the related list is there you can manage these related list as well so as of now cases campaign influence content deliveries groups related content these things are not included okay okay so if you want to include any of the related list so we can drop it here so now the cases will also be connected so these cases will be the cases which is open in relation to this particular opportunity okay so in an opportunity let's say you have uh, sold some uh, dns or dhcp server products okay you have sold that so there is a contract duration of that particular uh, sales okay so something like in one year whatever problem occurs in that particular product you have to provide the service okay so let's say within the first year of uh, for, of uh, your relationship with the customer okay let's say some problem occurs so the customer will call you back and then your sales representative or the agent who is uh, creating who was the 
um, you know the call center representative he will be creating case and that case will be connected to that opportunity and that opportunity will have an account and that account will have the uh, contact that is the contact of the person who uh, who with whom you had the transaction like who was the mediator between the two companies okay okay so like that okay and in salesforce there are some uh, there is an object called orders in which you can uh, uh, create the orders as well and you can connect products to it and you can create connect uh, contracts as well okay that we will okay. see okay and that we will see okay as of now i just included the orders here uh, and the cases also so let's just save it So in the beginning of uh, when we started relationships, I told you that the relationship field will always be in the child object. Okay. And the related list will always be in the parent object. Okay. Okay. So here in opportunities, we have the related list. So that means these are the child of opportunity. Okay. Okay. So in a report, if you choose the primary rep, uh, in the, where is the custom report we are creating? Okay. Here we have chosen our primary object as opportunities. So a is the, a is opportunity. So the records or the object, which are, uh, children of opportunity, you can connect with them. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's see. So let's say, opportunity hierarchy we can choose report okay so automatically the api name will be chosen here so you have to provide a description and that's a required field okay and because if you create some complex reports then the users whoever uh, is using the report they might not have any idea about that so you have to provide a brief description okay okay so you can write one brief description opportunity report along with its uh, children objects okay and category like which category this category what it's asking you is where do you want to display it okay like okay. as of now, whether you want to include in the opportunities folder or accounts and contracts folder where do you want to keep it okay or maybe okay. other reports okay so where exactly do you want to locate it so what we'll do is we'll put it under opportunities itself okay so it will come under this opportunities here this folder it will come under this this folder okay okay and there are two sections here in development and in deployed in development that means only the system admins and some people who have access to edit that report will only be able to customize or use that report okay, okay. so the users who use your organization for whom we'll be developing the applications they will not be able to use unless you choose deployed okay okay deployed means it's uh, it's uh, it's live and it's in the production environment okay okay so as of now we are the system admin or this is our developer org and uh, only one user is allowed who can use all the functionality that's a system admin so as of now we'll keep it as it is so in development also i will be able to use it okay because i'm the system okay, admin. okay. so then we'll click next now in the step two we'll have to choose what all objects we want to connect to this opportunity so we can connect objects only if there is any relationship and opportunity is the parent of that particular object okay okay so if you see the shaded area as of now so a is our opportunity and all the records which are included in that opportunity will be included in the report okay if you see the list it's showing the list here okay like all the records and all the fields will be included in the report okay if you okay. want to relate some more objects which are children of opportunity then we have to click on this okay so if you read the description here this report type will generate reports about opportunities okay so primary object is opportunity okay and we may define which related records from other objects are returned in report results by choosing a relationship to another object 
okay so what all record uh, related records we want to include in this report okay that we can include here okay so if we save it as of now it will include only the records which are in opportunity okay but okay. here you want to create some relationship so it's asking which object you want to relate this opportunity to okay so which other related object you want to include in this report so now if you see here the shaded area has decreased okay and among the opportunity only those objects only those records will be included in the report which are in the relationship okay so that means each a record must have at least one related b record so if it's a lookup relationship that's a not a required field so you can have a parent you cannot have a parent okay so okay. if let's say the b object does not have any or uh, any opportunity populated in them they will not be included okay okay so that is why the shaded area has decreased okay so if we want to include even the blank fields like the um, the b object which does not have any a populated okay if you want to include them as well then you have to choose this okay so now if you see all the records which are there in the opportunity will be selected okay okay so what it means is let me just go ahead and show you quickly uh, let me duplicate this tab okay and if we go to opportunities so in let's say open any other opportunity okay if you open any opportunity here in the related list if you see there are no orders here okay there are no uh, child orders here order relationship is there but there's no record of any order here in this particular opportunity okay so in that case if you choose the second option then whichever order field order object which is which does not have any uh, opportunity populated they will also be included okay so that means all the opportunity objects will be records will be included but if we choose the first object the first uh, checkbox uh, radio button here in that case this order will not be included because it does not have opportunity populated in that okay okay you're getting the point yes yeah so if in case if you want to you know, let's say if we create any order here so this order if you're trying to create the account name which is there in this order must be same as the account name which is there in this opportunity okay because the opportunity is created according to one account and the the order that you are sending it to that is going to some other account so that doesn't make sense right so let's say okay. here if we have one account uh, let's say concentrics okay so we go ahead and save it and if we create a new order here okay here concentrix is fine order date will populate one and contract number that contract number also must be this uh, connected to the same account concentrix account Okay. Right. So if, if one order is sent being sent to Concentrix, okay, the content Concentrix must have signed some contract. So that contract should be for some month or some, whatever duration it is. So that contract must be with the same company, right? It cannot be with some other company. It doesn't make sense. So here you have to choose one contract number which is related to Concentrix only. So here as of now only one contract number is there in concentrics that is why it's showing only one contract number okay but if you go to the contracts object here okay if you go to one contracts object here there are other contracts as well but with concentrics only one contract is there so only one contract number is showing here okay and which is 100 okay so 100 zero, zero. So this is the contract number which is showing here which is related to the same account okay 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 so we have to choose that contract number as it's a required field so every order must have one contract number okay and that contact number should be the same account should be belonging uh, should belong to the same account okay 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 so let's go ahead and save it 
okay so one order is connected here okay okay so after order let's say if uh, now b if we select if we select b as let's say orders okay i have to do all this relationship now because my org doesn't have any any sequence connected but in actual production orgs they will have all these orders order products all those things will be there so i'm just trying to create some record to so that it will be included in the report okay okay in the real time uh, those all will be related right yeah see relationship is already established okay okay relationship this is all uh, sender relationship okay okay let me go ahead and show you one more time uh, we will go to schema builder and let me show you that record relationship so if you go to schema builder here so all these objects are standard objects and the relationship in this uh, are already there so let me just clear everything as of now so here we will put one opportunity mm, opportunity okay and then we will put one order okay and then we will put one let's say order products we we'll put one order products after that we will see okay now if we just okay. minimize all this just try to arrange it okay so if you see here I did not establish any relationship okay the relationship is already there between opportunity and order and between order and order product so this is our primary object here which we chose in the A. So this is our primary object. Okay. And then yeah. opportunity has one child which is order. And order has another child which is order product. Okay. That is why order product is in the related list here. Okay. 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 So let's try to choose one order product here. Let's try to, as of now, there's no order products. So we'll create one order product. Okay. Save okay so as of now in my default org there are some products called uh, maybe genwatt i think this is some generator only uh, kilo thousand kilowatt maybe generators okay so let's choose some products here let's choose these three products okay and then we select these products okay and now we choose the quantity how many of these products let's say one of this and let's say two of these and let's say three of these okay and we save okay so our order has these many products connected to it okay so in our opportunity this is the order of the opportunity order number is there okay which is related to the same account and in this order we have these many products connected to it okay is that getting confusing no no okay 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 so let's get back to our report so we have to uh, each uh, we'll include all of them even the blank ones we'll include okay so there might be some opportunities which do not have any um, there might be some orders which do not have any opportunity connected to them so all the opportunities will be included okay it doesn't matter if they have any opportunity connected or not if you want to exclusively have only those orders which has the uh, opportunity connected then it, the common thing will only come which is common between the order and opportunity and the order that is why the shaded area is decreasing okay as of now we'll include all the opportunities now we'll create another relationship okay so in this we'll select another object uh, let's say order products okay so in the order products 
B to C relationship B records may or may not have any related C records okay so still all the opportunities are being shown okay and that opportunity some orders will be there and some order products will be there okay if you see here this is how it will look like okay so opportunities some of the opportunities might have orders and some of the orders might have order products okay because it's a lookup relationship it's not required field okay 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 now if you want you can create another object which is connected to this and that should be the last one so after the fourth one after D you cannot connect more uh, objects to this uh, report okay so order product feed is the object which is connected to order so which is the child of order okay so we will not include this as of now let's just keep it till this and we'll click save so we have created one new custom report type okay so if you see the count here uh, altogether there are 46 opportunities and 48 orders are there and some order products are like 15 order products are there okay okay now let's try to create one report a report using this report type okay so how do we do that if we go to the opportunities folder as of now we will not be able to see any opportunities that um, the report that we have created okay so we'll just refresh it hello yes Srikant. hello yes how are you a few minutes back the power went off i i text you so just now i connected through mobile now hello oh okay okay connected through mobile i think i lost somewhere from uh, you've shown that this one right the, the product selection and everything mm -hmm. can you After see still selecting see those products now i am saying this now i connected through mobile okay 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 i will have to see if we come back maybe at the okay hour. okay so where did you lose me actually uh, after that after you selecting those products okay yeah and generate huh, the you selected the created these products yeah so uh, from here this page this okay page so you know how these products came in this order right correct you added here from here yeah so from this particular order you add product okay okay so till here we are fine so so in our report what i just did okay i was in in this edit page okay we save it here okay i was in this object relationship uh, edit page okay and here we created just a b and c here we have order products okay under order products also we have another child if you want you can connect that child as well which is order product feed okay as of now we will not include that if you see d is also included and that d will have some fewer records which is having the connection okay so as of now we'll remove this and we will save it so we'll have opportunities and we will have orders which is connected to opportunity and the, some order products which is connected to orders okay Okay, so now we will go ahead and save it. So our primary object is still opportunity. Okay. Okay, and if you see here, altogether there are some 46 opportunities, some 48 orders, and order products are 50. Okay, okay. they might belong to different uh, opportunity. These orders might belong to different opportunity or different account. So when we run the report, then we will see. Okay, okay so to run the report, we go to our folder but we will not be able to see that particular report that we just created okay that report type we just created because we have not refreshed it so we'll just refresh it okay and that new report type will come which was with hierarchy so opportunity hierarchy report so this is here so now we the first step is to choose the report type so we chose the report type as opportunity hierarchy report and we create the report okay okay so this is what it will look like it will give you the order name 
opportunity name these are the opportunities and it will have different different order numbers so as of now these are not connected i mean there are no order number in, which is there in this particular opportunity okay and okay. <coughs> So let's try to run this report and see what it gives us. Okay. Why that is happening? Because there's there are some filter criteria here. Okay. okay. Let me just uh, opportunity hierarchy report. Okay. Okay. If you see here, it's showing only the opportunities which is under my uh, ownership. Okay, so okay. we'll include all the opportunities. Okay, and in close date, so it is showing only which is in the current fiscal quarter. Okay, so range okay. we will see all time. Okay, now all of them will be coming here. Okay, now if we go ahead and run the report. Okay, now the total count is coming here okay now if you want to include some more fields okay you can go ahead and inc include them uh, let's... okay so what we will do is we will save this report first okay so we'll call it our opportunity with orders okay and it will be included it will be in our personal folder only okay and we'll save and we'll run the report okay now if you want to include some more fields in this we can go ahead and we can do that okay so we'll just have to edit the report and then we can go ahead and we can include those fields okay so this is what a report type is Okay, if you don't see any or any object which is connected to that or any field which is connected to our ob ob object, then in that case, we have to create a new report type. Okay. 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 So that was all about report type. Okay. So I think uh, we, we saw in our previous class about the two reports. One is a, a tabular report and one is a summary report. Okay. Right. So let's try to see what is a, a matrix report. Okay. So as I said, there are four types of report. Let's let's just go ahead and try to open those reports first. So one is the tabular report, one is the summary, and then one we have matrix report, and then the fourth one is the join report. Okay. Okay. So if you try to create, okay, let's try to open this report only okay mm. okay. okay so in this lead report okay if you see here there are four other three other types of reports mentioned so one is summary one is matrix and one is join, join report okay tabular report as i said earlier tabular report is the one in which there is no grouping allowed i mean there is no uh, grouping according to any of the rows okay so let's say if you want to see only the reports which is uh, only the records which is under agriculture uh, industry if you want to group it according to the agriculture only Okay, so then it will okay. group uh, according to the agriculture. So as of now, there's no grouping here. If you switch to summary report, then it will give you one box here. In this, you can group it according to the whatever field you want. So as you have already created one lead source. Okay, so what we can do is from here, we'll uh, choose lead source and we'll drop it into this box. So now it will group according to the lead source okay and that lead source will be dis uh, will disappear from this these rows or these columns okay. okay and it will come in the row okay and here okay. aggregate will be shown here that four records are there four records are in this group four records are in this group so lead sources purchase list lead, lead source here is partners and here it's phone inquiry and this one is uh, probably web okay, okay. 
okay so now this has become one summary report okay so let's say you want to group group it further okay so let's say if you want to group it according to rows as well as columns okay so in that okay. case you change it into matrix okay so matrix will have groups uh, rows as well as columns so you can group according to rows as well as you can group them according to columns Okay. okay so as of now we have grouped only uh, depending on the lead source okay so uh, let's say you want it to uh, group according to industry okay so we'll try to drag it and drop it here Okay, so now if you see here the column grouping is also available here and if you see agriculture has uh, these many and apparel industry has these many Thank you. okay and this, uh, the aggregate are available in the sections here okay so now if we go ahead and if we save this report okay, and then if we run this report okay so in this lead source which is like the blank lead source okay so only 15 records are there here from the web resource we are having uh, eight records phone inquiry four and likewise okay okay and another grouping here is according to the industry okay so that industry is also showing that uh, education industry has only one agriculture and all these because most of the opportunities uh, or the leads we have not mentioned these fields okay okay so there's one feature called drill down so let's say if you want to uh, see some information only so if you just select this okay and uh, let's say if you want to see lead source web we want to remove everything else okay now if we drill down here okay so it will concentrate only on the web okay 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 so you can clear this okay now all of our report is generated okay if you want to uh, check out some specific grouping okay let's say which is phone and which is web in that case you have to drill it down okay then it will focus okay. only on the ones that you have selected okay okay and if you want to see only the summary or only the aggregate that is calculating like what is the grand total of uh, web and what is the grand total of phone inquiry then you can go ahead and hide the details it will remove all the records okay so it is just like a summary here okay okay so without including the records okay okay now if you want to further uh, let's say if you want to further um, apply some filters like depending on what date last modified date okay or some range okay which fiscal year or which quarter all those things if you want to customize from which date to from which date the opportunity or the lead was created okay and which industry it belongs to so all that filter you can apply here okay and you can further use the report okay so we'll clear this And we'll show the details okay and we'll uncheck all this so this is our report okay okay so this is what a matrix report looks like so matrix basically is uh, the one which has rows as well as columns okay so matrix grouping is allowed according to the columns okay and as well as the rows okay 
so you can group according to rows as well and according to columns as well okay that is what matrix report is so in a summary report in a summary report you can only group it according to the rows okay so like if you group it according to lead source then only let's say uh, lead source phone so only phone this will be phone section this will be uh, email section or maybe this will be some other section okay like web section so like that grouping will be done okay but if you want to group it like in a more complex way and you want to have further information then you can create a summary report okay in this both the grouping is allowed according to the column according to the rows okay okay so far in the doubts any questions uh, no okay okay at the end i'll give you some examples please try uh, in the summary report and also in the uh, matrix report okay okay so i'll just uh, give a brief introduction about the what what uh, join report also looks like okay so if let's just try to uh, let's say if we want to customize this further okay so what a join report is uh, if you want to have two reports side by side okay so two different reports and you want to compare those two reports okay like separate reports in that case you can go ahead and do that okay and you can use join report okay so let's take some simple report uh, what we'll do is we will go ahead and we'll close this okay and uh, we will take one simple report let's say all opportunities report okay so in it's showing all the opportunities here okay and it is also created one chart okay we don't want that we'll just uh, concentrate on simple report so that i can demonstrate that so let's try to create one new report okay so the first thing that you choose is you choose the report type okay so we'll choose let's say opportunities okay and we go and create okay so this is one tabular format report now if you want to have one joint report so if you choose joint report here okay so if it's saying uh, drop a field here to grip or across report blocks so if you want this is the first opportunity block okay if you want to have one more report you can create another opportunity block here okay you can add another block here so if we click on add okay let's say created by equals or not equal to or let's say type equals new customer or maybe what we'll choose is we'll choose let's say stage okay so we'll choose stage equals uh, closed one okay okay the filters all time okay we'll remove some of the blocks from here uh, type uh, okay let's remove type uh, expected revenue is fine next step we will remove um, stage is already there probability is not required it's a fiscal period uh, age so whatever is not required we will just go ahead and we will remove it Okay, opportunity owner okay account name account name is fine owner role we will remove okay 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 now let's try to add so here we will or created by or we'll choose stage equals 
let's say close lost okay so these are the ones okay which is there in the stage of close lost okay Just give me one second, okay? Give me one second. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. okay 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 so as of now we have only one report okay we have one report and in this report we have all the close lost opportunities okay let's say uh, if we want to see all the closed one opportunities in in one report and we want to have a side by side comparison of a closed lost report in the same report we want to have the side by side comparison of those okay, okay. so instead of using grouping what we can do is we can create two blocks okay this is one block here and there uh, we'll add another block and that report will contain the closed one opportunities okay and when we will add that block on the screen okay another set of filters will appear which will be the filter for the second block okay 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 and let's try to do that let's try to see uh, let's say what we do is we put one opportunity name here okay so now it is creating another report so now if we see here opportunity name here there is another filter condition will be applied for this here if you see for the block 2 the second block we have added here okay here it's showing the same filter as of now okay so what we will do opportunity status all the opportunity close date we will remove all time here okay so all the opportunities which are there as of now this is a partial copy okay because it's just a preview okay so here it's showing all the opportunities which is uh, in all the time okay and here also all the opportunities close date all time okay stage any probability all opportunities Now that one is working on that filter you applied that closed lost stage equals to closed lost closed lost uh, yeah that is working on that filter okay it's not related to that opportunity status and all i think mm -hmm. okay 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 let's say if you want to in the block two also if you want to add uh, the same fields let's say amount is there okay so we'll add amount here okay we'll add amount here and let's say expected revenue expected revenue we'll add next to this and let's say we want some close date here uh, close date and then we want stage uh, stage here okay okay i think that should be okay okay so now if you see here 
the stage is anything here like all the stages are there okay so if you want to apply one filter here for the only on uh, the block 2 okay and you want to see only the closed one opportunities okay so now it should be showing only the one which is closed one opportunities okay so if you want to compare between how many opportunities are lost and how many opportunities are open and who is responsible for uh, losing this opportunity and who is uh, credited for this particular own um, gaining this opportunity in the uh, organization if the manager wants to see all that comparison one by, uh, like side by side together in one particular report then in that case you need to have a joint report okay so if you want you can let's try to create another one okay let's uh, opportunity name so you put another opportunity here okay so now it is creating another block okay and the filter condition will be here so let's say if you want to add all the opportunities which are in the prospecting stage okay which are in the open status okay in that open status as of now there are two opportunities okay if you want you can add these fields as well in this uh, let's say uh, amount you can add okay expected revenue and then uh, let's say stage also let's add okay oops sorry i did grouping here remove this control Z will not work here no that will not work here okay so that grouping I have removed now okay expected revenue amount and then we have to put one stage here so let's add one stage okay now what we'll do the filter conditions are applied our joint reports are also side by side then we will just go ahead and we will save this report okay and we will call it maybe opportunity comparison report okay so it will be in my uh, folder only and we'll save and we'll run this report okay so now if we save and if you run this report if you see all together we have side by side comparison of three types of report one the stage is only the one which is or uh, we did not include the stage here okay here all the open opportunities are there here all the closed one opportunities are there and here all the closed lost opportunities are there okay so let's just try to customize it quickly and add the stage as well so that we can understand okay so here we will add one stage here okay and here also we will add one stage okay now we will save it and then we will run the report okay now if you see here here all the close lost opportunities are there okay and here all the opportunities which are in the closed one section okay so all those opportunities which are uh, in the organization now like this is in business okay and these many business we have lost okay and these many are still under the prospecting stage okay so it is still under progress okay so if the manager wants to have some comparison like this like every weekly or maybe monthly so you can also go ahead and schedule this okay okay so you can also email the report like weekly okay so the uh, report will be sent to the email which is connected to the microsoft exchange or any other uh, email tool okay that also we can do that okay so this is what a joint report will look like in this report you can add more than one report side by side so that you can compare okay and still the report is running only on one object and and maybe the other objects which could be related to this object okay you can go ahead and you can add the related objects here okay okay so this is what a join report is 
so in this report any questions um, those filters I didn't understand you apply let's try to customize that for the first one you applied the filter that stage equals to close last close last and for the second one hand huh, second one you selected closed one in the first line cell okay uh, in this all opportunities opportunity stage status one okay so uh, if I try to go ahead Shrikant, hello. Hello. Yeah, I can hear you now. I think you broke up. Uh, uh, this one, opportunity block one. Under block one, you have added a filter called stage equals to loss, close loss, right? And in the second one, you didn't apply that uh, filter here. You just directly selected closed one in the column section itself. Yes. What if you add another filter from here add and uh, stage equals to closed one will this be a different result? See, let's try to take a look at the another report. Okay, so let's try to see uh, we go to reports here And let's create a new report quickly Okay, see what is happening is this is the uh, for the common uh, this is when the primarily when we were creating the report then this filter was available okay. okay, but for different blocks there are different filters So if you add another block the another block will have different filter Okay, so if we add another block, let's say here what we do is we just drag and we drop the particular block here and then we keep on adding some fields Okay, so for this particular field or this particular block this filter is available Okay, so if you want to add some field filter more, okay, so this is what the field filter is about So if you cre put okay. created date or something equals to uh, let's say created by you put one search here Okay so then it is this is uh, this is about the field filter okay so if you want to add some field filter here also you can add some field filter here okay that is field filter right the yeah, add is, button yes correct so these are the field filters okay and this is the filter which is available for the block okay okay so let's try so to even those are all, those all are the filters and even this is also a filter but yeah. those are all block filters and this is field filter yes yes so let's try to remove okay. this field filter from here and let's see what happens and here also we'll remove the field filter okay now if you see now if we go ahead and we save it okay and if we run the report so now we are seeing the total data Okay. okay because we removed the field filter here okay so here we all the opportunities are there here okay and if you go here here only those opportunities are there which are closed one okay and here okay. if you see all the opportunities which are under the open status okay if we customize We can add some filter which is a uh, stage let's say uh, closed one in this one okay closed one is here let's try to let's keep open here closed one here and then closed lost here okay now if we save and if we run the report Okay, so all the open status here Okay, 
all the closed one here and all the closed lost a closed section closed or maybe closed one or closed lost okay okay so this is what we applied uh, as the block filters okay right now we have not applied the field filter okay okay so if you want to apply there are two types of filters here so if you want you can apply the field filter as well and then you can apply the block filter okay 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 apart from this any other question and no okay okay so try some reports okay try some join reports creating uh, the joined as well as creating some summary reports okay create some report types which is uh, in the related objects so you have created some related objects in your org right like uh, new objects which are not under the standard objects uh -huh, correct you have created some custom objects right so create some yes. uh, report types depending on those uh, related records uh, or related objects as well as the parent object okay so like what are the objects that you have created uh, objects like manufacturers cars okay and uh, okay so those kind of things okay so automobile section okay so retailer service centers okay so create some more data so that your report will uh, be a little bigger okay and some more conditions you can apply so create some records and then try to create some record types you create one record type for all the hierarchy of related records that you have include master detail as well as lookup in that okay try okay. to make it a little complicated okay and then try to run the report and apply um, try all the four report types okay tabular summary and matrix and then create some joint reports as well okay okay Try that and let me know if you have any questions. Sure. Okay. 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 So uh, as of now, that's it from my side. Uh, if you want to add something, you can go ahead and do that. Or else we'll wind okay. up. Oh, one more thing. Sabha, uh, this, uh, how many this one sections left over? Like the classes remaining, the reports. And the uh, next thing will be. Okay. Let me show you. 